I have been officially procrastinating on <laughs> doing a study on Revelation chapter 6 because there are so many different perspectives on it and I actually think this chapter is one of the most important chapters in the whole book. Revelation chapter 6 introduces us to the six seals and then we see the seventh seal opened a little bit later. It's controversial because of the potential timing and the implications for how people view the timing. So, of course, people that are in the preterist camp think all of the seals have already been opened and are done. But people that are in the futurist camp, meaning that they believe that the final tribulation period is in the future, some of those people believe that some of the seals have already been opened and others are for the future. And then there's people like myself that actually think that all of the seals are for the final seven years and that we have not had any of the seals officially opened yet. So there's that. Now, for people that think that the seals are actually only opened in the final seven years, some people think that all of them get opened within the first three and a half years, and other people believe that the seals are actually stretched out over the entire seven years, or at least most of the seven years. I tend to fall into that camp. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. So as you know, there's also trumpets and bowls in the book of Revelation. Some people believe that the seals, trumpets, and bowls are different perspectives of the same event. So just like we have, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John that offer somewhat different perspectives of the same event, some people think that that is the case in the book of Revelation. Other people think that they are not the same event, but <laughs> they basically say that the seals and the trumpets, for example, are mixed together and the bowls happen separately. One of the most common views is that they are successive, meaning that first the seven seals happen, then the seven trumpets happen, then the seven bowls happen. So as you can imagine, <laughs> the way you're interpreting chapter six will really affect how you see the whole entire book of Revelation. So feel free to let me know in the comments if you have an opinion on any of these things, and I hope to make the next video soon.